burnout and humiliation. That's what we're going to talk about in this video today. This video is inspired by a short email I received from a viewer. It's a very, very interesting email. So I thought I should make this quick video to discuss it because I do think I have some things I can say. The person's name is Andrew and the situation he's experiencing is very real. The subject is burnout and humiliation. Hello, Math Sorcerer. I stumbled upon your channel during a very difficult time in my life and it helped me a lot. It only takes two weeks video. I studied for my A-levels maths and further maths, equivalent to AP classes, I think, but easier calculus and slightly harder statistics. I was a top student, probably the best, in at least my city at maths. However, I had slacked off at the final leg of revision due to extreme burnout. I procrastinated and missed revision lessons, slept late nights, and did not write as well. My school is competitive, which I hate, and I'm afraid when my peers will hear how I didn't do as well as expected, they will think less of me. How do I get over it and continue my learning in maths without burnout happening again? So I'm going to give you, let me just, let me just respond to your comment first about your peers. You're afraid when your peers will hear how you didn't do as well. Um, I mean, I, I think that, I mean, it should not matter so much. I mean, I'm not saying that you shouldn't care about what people think. You know, to an extent you should, um, you know, you should be a functioning member of society, you know, wear clothes, do things people normally do. Um, so you do have to have some level of care, but at the same time, try not to let what your peers think of your mathematical performance have any impact on, on your well-being. It shouldn't matter. That should not, um, should not matter. Burnout, however, is, is going to happen again, unfortunately. It's something that I personally struggle with as well because I tend to overdo things. You know, if I get involved with math, I'll overdo it and I'll burn out. Or if I start making videos, I'll overdo it. And I overdo things all the time with exercise. Um, and so it's a struggle to try to find a balance, for me at least. And that's something I always strive for. At the same time, sometimes it's good to break the balance and study a little bit harder, which eventually leads to burnout, which is what you're suffering from. So I, I think don't worry about it. it it's going to happen. Um, you're going to burn out. Just try to be self-aware. And I think you are. The fact that you sent me this email means that you are self-aware. Uh, you realize that you're having these feelings that you're burning out and you're feeling humiliated. The humiliation thing, I think you need to think deep on that. That's my advice. Um, I remember one time, I'm trying to think of situations where I've been humiliated, I guess. I remember I was, I was in graduate school and um, it just made me feel bad. So maybe this is how you feel. I, I took a course and it was a really hard course and I dropped it after the first day. I was like, no, I'm not staying in this class. I, do, I don't understand what the teacher is saying. Uh, this is super hard and I, and I won't mention the class or anything or the teacher, but I got out. I was like, no, no, this guy is <laughs> just not gonna work. And after I got out, there was this kid, he had like red hair and uh, he looked like one of those bully kids like from the 80s movies. And he basically said something to me about um, how, oh, you couldn't handle it. Oh, something like he, he, he made some comment that kind of indicated that I was like beneath him. You know, like I wasn't as good as he was. And, and it made me feel bad. And I was thinking, I don't really like this guy. Uh, it's not a person that I want to be around. Uh, this person is not my friend. So I kind of just kept my distance from him. I just, I would see him, but I wouldn't start conversations with him. And I don't even remember his name. I just don't think he was a person that I wanted to be around. And so if your friends, I don't know what they're saying to you or, or making you, what, what they're doing to make you feel this way. But if your friends are making you feel that way, maybe that's something that you need to think about, right? Are these people that you want to hang out with? Because there's, there's different types of people in the world. No one's perfect. Everyone has their pros and cons. But you get to choose who you hang out with in life. You get to choose who your friends are, um, usually, right? So, yeah, just trying to try to analyze that part of your life because 
that humiliation is not fun. I remember feeling really bad about myself or just bad because that person made that comment about me dropping the class. By the way, fast forward three weeks later, um, the entire class was stressed out, 9 p.m. on a Saturday night. They're in the graduate student lounge struggling to do their homework. And I remember one of the guys who was in the class, he was from Greece. He was really tall and thin. Uh, it was Greek. He was a Greek person. It was really, really interesting. It was just like from Greece. And he, uh, he looked at him and he said he had broken English. He goes, oh, it's good you dropped class. Oh, not fun. I'm like, oh, no, they were so stressed. So I felt really good in my decision. And that, that guy who made fun of me, he was among the group of stressed people. So I, I made the right choice, I think, by getting out of that class. But yeah, no one should make you feel that way. And if they do, um, yeah, or, or maybe it's you. Is it you or, or is it them? So things to consider. Uh, so evaluate that and, and you can defeat that humiliation. The burnout, however, is going to be a, a different story. That's something that you have to pace yourself, and it's really hard. You know, if you're, if you're working on something and you're really into it, I always say just go for it, and then just kind of just allow yourself to burn out, be aware that you're burnout, out, and then take some time for yourself to recover. Do something besides math. Go outside, go for a run. What does everyone say now? Touch grass, right? Exercise, um, get out of the house. I always try to get out every day, and it just it helps with the math, it helps with everything, So so yeah. What do you all think about burnout and humiliation? Do you have any advice uh, for Andrew? Um, have you been in this situation before? You know, burnout is, is a real thing, especially in mathematics. You know, you can have a couple good days where you, you do lots of math, but usually after like a couple days of hardcore math, like if you're really cramming for something, you start to wear down and it starts to get to you. and it just becomes hard to focus, you know? So you need a little bit of a break before you can return to it. So yeah, those are my thoughts. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. Also, I do have courses. They're actually on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, for two reasons. One, I lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So you should get a low price when you click my links. Uh, and two, uh, it helps me greatly. Otherwise, Udemy takes a huge cut. But I've got, I've got courses on algebra, uh, trig, calc 1, calc 2, calc 3, multiple versions of them, differential equations, and then a bunch of other courses as well. And they're really inexpensive and you can learn some math that way. But yeah, burnout is a real thing. Uh, the humiliation part, that, that kind of sucks. And that's really what caught my attention in your email, um, the, this, the humiliation part. By the way, I never talk about this because I have plenty of emails, but if you want to send me emails, you can, right? So people usually email me uh, through my YouTube email. You can find that by going to about and clicking a button. But a lot of my emails come from my website, um, which is mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com. It's not a very good website, but at least it's working. At least it works and the links work. <laughs> so, and you can send me messages through there. So it's efficient, it's working. Uh, someday I'll, I'll redo it because it's a terrible website. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.